Are you finding it hard to choose what gifts to buy for your homeschool children for holidays this year? I'm here to offer some suggestions, especially for kids ages 8 to 12 that love science. Hi everyone! This is Laura from monkeymom.com, helping you choose the best materials with complete reviews and tips for homeschoolers. If you're new here, consider subscribing and don't forget to grab my free printables linked in the description below. My son is 10 and he loves science and reading. Every year, I strive to get the best gifts to bring him joy, but I'm also considering the educational aspect since this is a time when we splurge on gifts anyway. Why not incorporate something useful for our homeschooling? A quick heads up before we start. I didn't buy all of these myself. Some are gifts from close family members and relatives, and some are thrift store finds. I will show you what we bought for stocking stuffers and for Christmas gifts this year, plus some of the previous year's ideas. The links to all the products will be in the description below. I'll begin with showing you the stocking stuffers. A desk vacuum cleaner. This is Basia C2, a small desk vacuum cleaner that I am sure my son will love since he loves everything electronic. I love the idea of this because his desk is always littered with eraser crumbs. This exact model is unfortunately not available on Amazon.com, but I will link to something similar. Catastrophe Stacking Cats. This is actually a simple stacking game that I picked just because it has cats and my son loves cats. It seems like a cute game. You get five cats of each color, yellow, black, and orange. This one is great for younger children as well, and there is a dog version for dog lovers too. Both will be linked below. The next stocking stuffer is Trivial Pursuit Harry Potter version. This one's for Harry Potter fans out there. It's basically a trivia game. Inside, it has a dice and some cards. The cards have 600 questions from Harry Potter movies. They should be fun during long winter nights. Next one is a spy pen. It looks like a regular ballpoint pen, but its special ink makes it visible in the UV light. I'm sure mine will use it to probably write down his math answers and then make me check them with the UV light. Next up, Junior Hexbug. Since he likes electronics and bugs, especially Hexbugs and their habitats, I found this one at a thrift store and I'll add it to his stocking stuffers. If you're familiar with the Hexbugs, you already know how these move. By creating vibration, this allows them to navigate labyrinths and habitats. We are having Hexbug races and it's very fun. Next up, various stationery. My son hates writing and one thing that always helped over the years was getting him cute stationery. He has a cat paw correction tape, glitter highlighters, two Christmas boxing pens, and a frog pencil sharpener. The next one is a suggestion from the last years. A pocket microscope. We actually have this for about five years now and it's a favorite. This pocket microscope is great for children to just carry around and look at things like tree bark, pollen, leaves or insects. It's very easy to use and I will just show you a few images we saw through it. And of course, books. I always give books and no celebration or holiday is spared. This year he will get the Christmas Wars in his stocking. I know this isn't great literature, but I got it for light reading. The illustrations are black and white and the book is recommended for 8+. This story has got 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. And this concludes the stocking stuffers ideas. Now let's get on to the Christmas gifts. We always receive lots of gifts from grandparents and relatives every Christmas, so we are used to getting a lot of gifts every year. Another reason to just invest in something useful for homeschooling. The absolute best gift you can get for a science-loving homeschooler is a subscription to one of Mail Sciences boxes. They have several to pick from and I will include a link to their shop below. They ship internationally too. Their current offer includes chemistry, STEM and physics and they are planning to launch a medical box as well. We have had mail chemistry for two years now and this Christmas my son will get mail physics. 
It will probably not reach in time for the holidays, but I love the fact that they have a gift printable that lets him know he will get his physics box soon. Here are the previous chemistry boxes. You can see how they arrive in this cardboard box. And I'll open one so you see how they look inside. You get everything you need to complete two to three experiments. I will also link to an experiment we recorded so you see how we used it and how fun they are. Each month you get two to three experiments in one box. They also have a VR set that you will get for free when you subscribe for a year and you get access to all the VR lessons. Or, if you are science oriented, you also get access to live classes with real scientists. I found this to be the best subscription box ever and it's so easy to transform it into a full science curriculum while also being a great gift for kids. You can't go wrong with this. On to the next gift. My science guy also likes electronics and robotics and if you have homeschoolers with similar interests, they will love assembling and coding Arduino. You get a box with all the parts. I'm really not sure what all of them do, but there are YouTube videos explaining step by step how to assemble this. I will also link to tracking robots, which were a huge hit with us. Next up, remote control toys. My son is still not over remote control toys and he loves having races with them in the house. Since we're going to spend more time indoors, Christmas is the perfect time for these toys. This year he will get a roach and scolopendra. He also had a scorpion, snake, and rat, so not the regular remote control cars. I will link to all of them below. Next up, a huge hex bug habitat. This is a new set to extend his current track. The good thing about these is that they work together and you can build new interesting habitats. A UV flashlight. You have to be cautious with these because they aren't toys. I wouldn't get one for kids under 10. I know my son is responsible enough to use it with the protective glasses and under adult supervision. He already has strong lasers that he uses with caution. I thought this would be fun since we have a lot of cats and he can play detective finding which one didn't use the litter box properly. This set comes with protective glasses and an LED UV flashlight. Next up, tornado makers. These tornado spheres are from the science museum, so I didn't find them online. But I linked to another tornado maker we have, and my son had great fun with it. These balls will spin on a mirror while you shine the little light on them and generate a show of lights and sounds. You could create your own by just using two strong magnet balls and an LED colored flashlight. I will link to all of these below if you want to build your own. We like spending a lot of time outdoors and one of my son's favorite activities when we are outside is to use his slingshot, so I got him a new one. We simply take a piece of cardboard and paint it with some circles. This is a pretty straightforward slingshot. We like using pebbles so we don't pollute anything while we are out. Next up, a scientific calculator. This should be a big hit because my son loves big numbers. I picked a Texas Instrument TI-30XS Multiview. We just started algebra and I thought this would make a nicer prize and he will have enough time to get used to the complicated functions it offers. It can also be used for chemistry, which is a plus. You can see here, it can be used for general maths, algebra, geometry, and trigonometry. Next up is a chemistry notebook. It's a hex graph paper notebook with 100 pages and various sizes of these graphs. It's great for drawing organic chemistry compounds and I really love the format. This actually came gift wrapped by Amazon in this nice gift bag. To go with it, I picked a couple of cute Christmas pens, one with floating glitter and another with multiple colors. I always try to get some board games or games we can play together that are fun and educational. So this year I picked Bananagrams. This is similar to Scrabble and you have to make words using the 114 letter tiles. This should be fun to use as a family and it's easy to clean and not bulky at all since the tiles all go in the pouch. Also homeschool benefit we can practice spelling difficult words and vocabulary while playing it. I wanted to pick simple games this year that we will have time to play as a family that are easy to set up and clean. I also wanted to be able to just open and play without needing hours of instructions to understand the rules. So Articulate popped up. 
I thought it was perfect to use fun and it would also encourage my son to use descriptions which I hope would help with his writing because he always uses his written words sparingly. This is the final board game for this year's Geeks and it should be a hit. It's called Frenetic. My son actually learned the periodic table by heart and he still has times where he would use the periodic table symbols instead of words to say things. He just finds it funny to say oxium potassium instead of OK, for example. So I knew this was one we must have. You can see that this year's games are focused on language arts, just because I want to encourage more expression and description in his writing. And of course, the last part are the books. I will not extend this video more and I'll just quickly show you the titles we've got. I have more books that should arrive by Christmas, but since we order them internationally, we never know when they get here. The titles I bought but didn't show up yet are mostly history from the book shortlist, sixth grade literature from Hewitt Learning, and a couple of requests from my son, Immune by Kurzgesagt and Science Comics Plagues. I will link to all of them below. I'll probably make a separate video just unboxing books when all of them arrive. Here's what we've got so far. Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. The View from Saturday. Yellow Star. The Wednesday Wars. And a really short history of nearly everything the illustrated edition. And this concludes my video on gift ideas for science-loving homeschoolers. If you want me to review anything in particular, please let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, stay curious!